Hey everybody, it's Tiffany, your favorite orgasm guru. And tonight I have a little bit different topic I want to talk about. So I've committed to go live every Wednesday. And to me, that meant no matter what. Mojito says no matter what. Also, he's ready for his dinner. But I've been out, I had kind of a day where I was unmotivated, but my hair still looks great because I got it done today. So I was like, I committed to go live. So I'm going to do that, even though I've had some libations with my friends. And it reminded me of one of my favorite quotes from Jim Rohn, which is, What's, at, what's easy to do is also easy not to do. So I could have easily come home, not done a Facebook Live, not worked on my business, but I wanted to share this little simple shift with you that I was talking to my friend with about and He's so into this right now, right? Like, so cute. A little putty cat, her pussy cat, here for pussy talks. Um, that lots of times we speak in our love languages of what the uh, what our love languages are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is actually comical. Um, with a cat tail in my face, a cat butt. But we talk to our partners in our love languages instead of their love languages. And so if you do this, I want you to really listen up because oftentimes my clients this is their love language and their partner scores the exact opposite and then this is their partner's love language and they score the exact opposite for example if one person is words of affirmation like myself and their partner is acts of service and the partner it keeps doing all these things and that doesn't mean anything to the person but I was talking, so I was talking to a friend tonight at our country club, we were having some drinks and she was bringing up all these obstacles that are happening in their relationship. And she's like, so whenever this happens, I ask him, do you, do you want me to do this? Do you want, and he's an acts of service. So I suggested to her, instead of just asking him, if you need to get this at the store to just get it whether you need it or not it's that act of service and he will greatly appreciate it and when we're not communicating on a visceral sexual that was my first mojo just knocked it off level that it's this vicious circle so you're argumentative you're having arguments because you're not communicating or this is not happening in your relationship or that or that and because of that you're not sexually attracted to your partner. It's kind of repulsive. It's like, ugh, I don't want to have sex. But the best thing that you can do is have sex because when you have sex, then those little ir irritating under the fingernail arguments go away. So when you have are having fantastic sex and you're connected it's like mm, I don't care if he realized that or she realized this or 
it's just so smooth. That's why I call sex life lubricant because it just smooths everything out. So when you're having great sex, there are no arguments, but when you're not having great sex, you're having all these arguments because you're not having great sex and all that just creates a vicious cycle. So who takes the first step? As Jim Rohn also says, why not you? It's easy to do, it's easy not to do. We often get stuck in this stubborn, like, oh, I'm not gonna take this move. This person needs to take the move. So why not you? Life is short, things happen. Enjoy the moment, be grateful that you have somebody that you can appreciate and I just encourage you to take the first step whether that's having sex or admitting you're wrong or just saying you know what yes I like this kind of mayonnaise even if you don't so that's my message for tonight thank you for tuning in if you want more love and sex and passion in your life, I can help you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.